Hello everyone, so this is uh, ThinkPad X270. Yes, I made one video, I believe uh, a month ago, where I mentioned about uh, me purchasing ThinkPad X270, but this is not that laptop. This is a new laptop, in fact, which I bought uh, two days ago and uh, it was delivered today in the morning. The day right now is really hot. Here in UK today is, I believe, the hottest recorded hottest recorded day ever, which is uh, definitely uh, concerning. But I'm fine. And uh, today I thought I'll probably show you this uh, laptop maybe one more time. So this particular uh, laptop, although it has uh, the same uh, roughly the same configurations except the RAM. So the processor is i5-6300. Uh, U and uh, 2.4 uh, gigahertz and the RAM is only 4 GB which is uh, I guess fine because uh, the laptop that I purchased earlier I think I spent 170 pounds and that was uh, if I remember correctly I don't even remember maybe it was 256 GB SSD or maybe 512 GB I need to check the <laughs> check my own video but because I gave it to my friend and this one has uh, uh, only 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 128 GB so I guess that is probably fine because uh, uh, for the price because I only spent uh, 79 pounds plus I guess 8 pounds for the delivery I, I think uh, it is very cheap because uh, you can always upgrade the RAM and yes RAM if you are looking for so this one I believe uh, supports DDR4 so DDR4 is not yet uh, very cheap but uh, you can al always you not know, try to find uh, cheap RAM or maybe keep an eye on uh, your local marketplace. So this one is missing the fingerprint sensor and to be honest nobody uses it or I never really used it especially on a laptop because you can just type in your password it is much more quicker and I believe this one has uh, because when I look at the battery status it says uh, two batteries and I'm actually quite happy with the uh, I need to probably test it because the ThinkPad X270 I purchased uh, last time, it was on also showing uh, you know something like 10 hour battery because it has two batteries, I guess. So this is, I guess, a good news. And this one also has two batteries. Um, I'm not really sure whether it will actually last uh, for another six hour, 34 minutes. But, uh, but I guess uh, f even if you're using uh, this laptop for doing simple things, it will definitely be more than enough. And, and by the way, on my ThinkPad X220, I actually bought this uh, this battery, the additional battery, which I installed it. And uh, although this particular thing, ThinkPad X220 is always uh, on uh, my station, on this uh, ultra base, but uh, it is always assuring that, yes, if I have to maybe travel, I can definitely, you know, work maybe from uh, a park or a cafe or maybe a train let us uh, I, I don't really do that quite a lot but sometimes if i am traveling a bit far then of course it is always good to have uh, you know your laptop still working still with some power so i'm glad that this this, this particular thing padax 270 uh has decent battery more than decent to be honest and of course right now it is uh, on windows 10 and to be honest, I didn't really purchase this laptop for myself. Although I think I like Think ThinkPad X270. Uh, I also have used, uh, in fact, I'm using it right now, ThinkPad X390, which is, I believe, one of the latest one or recent one, not if not latest. But I, I think uh, ThinkPad X series is probably one of the um, best series if you're looking for power and portability because uh, if you compare this, you know, this ThinkPad... Uh, X270 with uh, with 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 ThinkPad X220. The uh, I think the size is it is roughly the same size, right? Roughly, roughly, and uh, that is the good thing. I, but but I still feel uh, ThinkPad X220 is probably, of course, you know, when it comes to the portability, uh, I think it's probably one of the first laptop that I used personally, which was. Uh, uh, in a way, really, um, 
really portable because it is of course very compact the size is perfect i can keep it in my small uh, bag let me show you my bag in a second so usually when i'm um, you know traveling and if i have to carry my thinkpad I'll, i usually keep this thinkpad in this particular bag and uh, the size is actually perfect so that is the best thing i like about uh, the x series the size is amazing also the uh, also the ram slot which i think i mentioned last time uh, so this is the front side it is quite clean but there is a small led light here which is wonderful this light is not really there <laughs> on uh, on the thinkpad on the thinkpad x220 is there a light i don't really think so no or maybe it's just a dot i don't really think there is a light maybe i'm confused no it looks like a light but it is not it is just the it is just the uh, um you know red dot but this one is definitely a light it will blink when you close the lid uh, and you're yeah, talking about the ram slot so this is annoying because and that is why of course people love x220 series because you can actually open it op open up this laptop very easily but this is not the case uh, with this laptop i'm sure it is not massively complicated but uh, uh, there is no i mean i'm missing i, I really miss the ram uh, ram uh, you know that thing what do you call it that slot or that uh, rectangular uh, uh what is the word i'm miss, i'm missing the word but anyways so you you can actually unscrew and uh, you know you can replace the ram easily but now i guess i'll have to open it so i'm definitely uh, going to upgrade the ram if if i can and i may not upgrade the ram uh, here in uk but i'll definitely go to nehru place if you're from delhi i'm sure you know about uh, nehru place uh, so i'll go there i'll uh, purchase ddr4 on ddr4 crucial ram or whatever ram whatever whatever cheap ram i can get and i'll definitely upgrade this i'm not really going to upgrade the hard disk because 128 gb is more than enough usually more than enough and on the side of course you have uh, the ethernet also sd card slot and one usb 3.5 mm on on uh, the right hand side on the left hand side you have hdmi usb c and one more usb so yeah definitely definitely uh, um definitely some options when it comes to uh ports <laughs> and if you compare it with because uh, right now i was doing a call and i was using my mac and it is annoying because even to connect headphones you have you need adapter really 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 annoying thing so this x270 is uh, unfortunately not uh, going to be used by me because although i would love to i think uh, there is definitely lot of power when it when you, when you compare it with the uh, X220 because X220 ha has like i5 second generation this one has sixth generation so uh, definitely much more power uh, also people always say that yes uh, you will not really get the you know keyboard the the, the most famous X220 uh, proper keyboard yes i love this keyboard this is great but for me majority of the times i am actually uh, or like most of the times i'm I, i'm always uh, using this as my station and i use uh, this mechanical keyboard which uh, I, i quite like i mean uh, this one is amazing by the way and i use my own uh, you know stickers so that i'm um, i know where the keys are the keys that i really need so uh, if someone has to use this particular chiclet type keyboard and if they don't know about 220 then i guess they'll be fine I, i know these keyboards are not really great because i ordered one 270 thinkpad x270 from ebay and the enter key was not massively responsive uh, uh the, the first one that i ordered like i think uh, in the month of may or uh, i think it was sometime in may so this is uh, definitely um definitely uh, you know not a not a massive problem for me so i think keyboard is fine to be honest enter key works yes it is not the same i know it is not the same and uh, you need uh, sometimes uh, if you used to this think pad x220 old style proper keyboard then uh, you will definitely 
um, miss it on these new ThinkPad X series laptops. But I guess for majority of people, normal people, I, I guess uh, for them, the portability and the power is uh, an and ability to run any kind of program. I mean, not really, really any kind of program, but most common programs like Excel or maybe Word uh, will, uh, will 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 definitely work perfectly on this laptop. And of course, you know, you know a bit more if they are probably into gaming, maybe you know light games. Uh, I'm sure this can definitely handle it. So this particular laptop is actually for my brother-in-law, and he'll be uh, using it in his office. And uh, of course, I'm not really expecting him to use Linux, so I'll keep the Windows, and uh, I will, I will give them, I, I will give him this laptop when I when I go to um, when I travel to India, and uh, and I thought I'll probably share with you that yes, I bought one more X270. So if you are considering buying a ThinkPad X X series laptops, cheap ones. Uh, to be honest, uh, X220. If you search on eBay here in UK, it is you know, it can be 150 pounds, it can be 100 pounds, it can be 200 pounds, it can be 250 pounds, even 300 pounds. Uh, but X270, the last one I purchased was only 170 pounds. This one is 89 pounds plus I, I guess 8 pounds for delivery. So definitely, I mean, if you, if, I mean, I think when you are purchasing purchasing a laptop, for me, it is also about the cost. I know, uh, you know, if you are purchasing a, a laptop. Uh, I mean, I'm sure if you buy a laptop and if you spend 500 pounds or 1,000 pounds, are you really getting the value, or is it also going to? Uh, because when you when you purchase a laptop, you're spending money, right? And uh, you, you're you're purchasing a laptop for doing something, maybe a work uh, that you're trying to do in your day-to-day uh, -day activities, or maybe you're buying it for your office, or maybe you're buying it for your school. So I think if you buy these old ThinkPads, uh, you will get really good value. And especially for the money that you pay for these uh, machines, really good, powerful machines. All right, that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about today in this video. I hope you enjoyed watch watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.